Hello and welcome back to Bump Lab. Every year on 1st December, Uganda joins the world in commemorating World AIDS Day. And as a country, we've made significant strides in bringing down the prevalence of HIV AIDS. Through comprehensive strategies like awareness campaigns and increased access to antiretroviral drugs, Uganda has managed to bring down the prevalence of HIV AIDS. However, while the overall rate of new infections is coming down, the age group of 10 to 30 years are having increased numbers of new infections. Today on the show is Emugole. Emugole <laughs> <laughs> is Sheila Chobutunji and she's the HIV prevention team lead with USAID Uganda. Welcome to the show, Sheila. Thank you, Manuela. What is happening that continues to make the conversation about HIV AIDS still relevant today after 30, 30 years? years. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What's happening? What's going on? So thank you, Manuela. <laughs> and I really want to thank the Bump Love ladies for having me on the show today. HIV AIDS is a topic that I'm very, very passionate about. It's yeah. not just my day job. I really want to make sure that I'm part of the movement that is contributing to an HIV AIDS free world Uganda. by 2030. Wow. But also we are really trying to end the, the epidemic. Yeah. And so Uganda is a very young population. Yes, it is. About 78% of the population in Uganda is under the age of 30. Yeah, so you true. really have to understand that we are dealing with a youth bulge, mm. very young population. And you know how the youth are. Yeah. Yeah. The risky we remember. Yeah. We we remember. remember in our days, <laughs> but way back then. Yeah. Not so much, not so much. <laughs> Maybe for those not people, that way. Like, <laughs> just way back, not just way, way back. Yeah, very, very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> but interestingly, for us who work in the HIV AIDS public health mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. we've seen that the new, as much as the new infections are going down, mm -hmm. there is a specific demographic, mm -hmm. the youth. Mm. where we see new infections each and every year. Mm. Just in 2020, we had about 136,000 new infections. Mm. Wow. But when we unpack the 136,000, mm. where exactly are they are happening? They? Mm. And we found out that 37% of these are in young people, okay. the youth. Yeah. But then when we say young people, who are these? They are male, yeah, they are yeah, female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is happening? Yeah. I think what's interesting is that of the 37%, 79% mm. is among adolescent girls and young women. Oh dear. Like wow. us. Wow. Okay, what's we're not in that category. But there is a big proportion. <laughs> <laughs> like us? No, you're in young girl. girl. In young girl. Young ladies. <laughs> in my dreams. So if 79% of these new infections are happening among adults and girls and young women, that means only 21% are in the boys. So what is happening in this yeah. space? We really, as a nation, wow. if we are going to get to an AIDS-free generation, we have to do business as usual. Mm. But targeting these pockets, yeah. these mm. young people, the adolescent girls and young women, but even the boys, we can't ignore the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, because someone is infecting the girls. Yes. 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 And who knows, are they being infected by the by older men, the yes. young boys? Yes. You know, yes. So it's, it's, it's something that we have to unpack so that mm. we can target our interventions mm. for yes. impact. Yeah. Wow. So we are at a place where we are so close to epidemic control. But we are seeing a spike mm. in, in these the young, young adults. Yeah. Specifically. Specifically. Wow. Mm. So that's where the and challenge this is. Ages is. 10 to, to 30. 30 years old. Guys. And when you think about years. who, you know, 10 years. years. Yes. 10 years 10 old. Years. It's alarming. And remember yeah. that some of these things are myths. Where are the 10-year-olds in schools? Can mm. you talk about sex education in schools? Mm. You know, does our curriculum even allow us to talk about these things freely? Yeah. So we have challenges that we need to address. Even us as parents, are we talking about these things in our yes. homes? Oh, children, yeah. Mm. And where do they hang out? Who, are, who is influencing them? Where do they get their information from? Mm. Yes. You know? So we have to really think about this young group. And for me, really, if there's something we can do differently is targeting, you know, age appropriate. But also, you know, we may put our things on billboards. Are young people looking at billboards? Mm. Are they? You know? mm. Where are the influencers who target the young people? Mm. TikTok. TikTok, <laughs> yes. No, I don't even have a TikTok account. Yes. I don't even know TikTok. Yes. You see? Yeah. So meaning we, are, we may be misfiring. Yeah. Yes. That's true. Yes, we may be misfiring, yeah, yeah. but I mean, you have most. You, in case you have children in that age bracket, yeah. Do you think they know? Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think for most of us, we like with our young children, we str we struggle with how to pack the That's information yeah. to deliver that information because you're just like, what language do I use? Well, they're too young. 
Oh, you feel that yeah. 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 we, we always think, think, we always think yeah. but you know young when you say too yeah. young we need to be careful because uh, studies have shown that early sexual debut as early as the age of nine Children are sexually active. They are. Yeah, they are. They are. Oh, it's just that you don't see your child. <laughs> yeah. You know when you say nine, I think about my son. son and yeah. Yeah. Right? Imagine. Yeah, he's still young. With your own child, yeah. you don't you know? see it in yeah. them, and yet it is happening. Yes, yeah. It does. yeah, so we know it, like we know it consciously, yeah. but with our own children. You yeah. somehow yeah. think it we won't think, mm, mm, There's no, no way. Yeah, they're the ones. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. Saying such words. <laughs> they are so strong. And I think exactly the way you're speaking is, is where what the we go through. Yes. That's where the problem yeah. comes You put your in. head in the ground and yeah. you think, you know what? It will pass back. Yeah. Yeah. Not mine. Not, not, not mine. mine. That's yeah. right. Even. But they don't exist in a vacuum. Yeah. Yeah. They're interacting with, with a society people. that's highly at risk, yes. that is exposed, that may lack the right information. Yes. But also, the, I mean, the speed at which the youth are going these days. Mm. Yeah. I mean, sometimes when the things they say, I can't understand. Mm. I have to go and Google. And Please Google help that. me. Yeah. What are they saying? I'm totally good TikTok. What a TikTok account. But you know, you said, you, you said the word risk. So maybe you sh can share with us what are the common risk factors that make young people susceptible mm. to HIV? Mm. Mm. Thank you, Pumla. And I'm going to look it, at it in multiple levels, right? Yeah. There is the individual, there is the family, there is the community, then there is society. Mm. But it all starts with the individual. Yeah. And the one thing that I talked about is early sexual debut. Because if you're nine years old and you're engaging in sexual activity, do you even know about a condom? And even if you've heard about it, do you know how to use it? or correctly or consistently. So the fact that we have a very early age for sexual debut mm. means that that's exposing them to risk from the beginning. Yeah. Because you cannot tell me that at that age, but they, they understand yeah. you know, what, is, what is correct mm. and consistent yeah. condom use. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the other thing is multiple sexual partners. Mm. These days people are adventurous, as they should be. I mean, the, people want to spice up mm. things. They are, they are, you know, they, they are reading things. They are saying things, and they, you know, it, these things of it's no longer cool. That one partner, one spouse, mm. you're boring. Yeah. Holy kuchi. Yeah. So that multiple sexual yeah. partners without correct, consistent condom use exposes you to high risk. Mm. But there are things we have to think about: are things like power dynamics and gender mm. dynamics, oh, yes. yeah. especially within our African setup where women negotiating for safe sex, unless you're empowered, like the bump love ladies yes. that oh, I yes. see. Yes. I'm sure for you can negotiate, yes. you know your rights. But you yes. can find, I mean, think about her, the average demographic of a rural Ugandan woman. How will she negotiate and say, today, I mean, you may have been gone for a month. Simanyi, what have you been doing? Can we use a condom? So that Gone for a month, even when he's there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so understanding yeah. that those gender dynamics and you know the, the power dynamics for negotiating for safe specs <coughs> exposes people. Yeah. The other thing is uh, really uh, use of substance abuse. Oh, yes. Mm. I mean, you've seen the papers, you've seen the statistics. Uganda ranks high in consumption oh, yes. of alcohol. Alcohol. Mm. alcohol. We take the trophy with we pride. Happy yeah. Yeah. We, you well, know, and also, there now we have the spirit. <laughs> the spirit that binds us. <laughs> that yeah. We've also heard about <laughs> drugs that are the yeah. increase. But you know, when someone is under the influence, mm. they have impaired judgment. Mm. Yeah. So you may make a decision and you're like, oh, we were chilling, it was yeah. in the heat of the moment, yeah. Yeah. but you yeah. hadn't thought another. about protecting mm. yourself. Yes. And how often does it happen? You're in a club night, the spirit of Nyege Nyege has taken over you. <laughs> <laughs> the president yeah. is <laughs> the president of <laughs> black and white, uh -huh. black and white. That's Mr. you know, <laughs> and, and, and everything is exciting. But in that moment, you will have impaired judgment. Yeah. And by the time you wake up, if God forbid, it's with some you have risk sex, you know, unprotected sex with someone who is infected, mm. in under the influence. Mm. By the time you remember, you may not even remember that the encounter happened. Yes. This is true. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. Yes. Hey. you guys have, have you guys seen that that. That I picture going, going to around yes, that, that, that was forwarded. That, yes, that was that's shared. been forwarding many times. The person yeah. who went to apparently Nyege Nyege yes. under the influence oh, and found yes. herself oh, by yes. the river yes. having been raped multiple times. Yes. So you're, wow. you're right about that. Yeah. She yes. came with her friend, but she yes. found herself at the river. She yes. just woke up. Woke up and, and found she was... She had been used. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And I mean, yes. at that wow. point then, 
there is so much that's not within your control True. That's true. because you're under the influence. Yeah. Yeah. But that said, let's go down to basic society, mm. community. The economy is limping. Mm. Mm. People are struggling, mm. yeah. you know. Yeah. And sometimes as you try to make ends meet, transactional sex will come to play. Mm. Mm. Which even goes back to that forward. It actually started from, from transactional, transactional sex. sex. They didn't have, exactly. they couldn't afford the accommodation at Nyege. Oh. So they decided that the man around who they'll entice and then go and we'll take go uh, to okay. take them. So they started with transaction. After yes. adding transaction, they added substances, yes. alcohol, mm. which ended up in impaired judgment, yes. as you yes. said, and making them to, and yeah. then abuse yeah. happened. Mm. Actually, you the know. transaction was big. Remember <laughs> that the girl wanted to do her birthday party. Yeah, so she yeah, sold yeah, her yeah, friend. Yeah, Remember, yeah. she sold her friend. Oh my God. The, economy. So, the, the economy. economy. The economy. The economy. You know, we said to Saba government to Yambe, but really, unless we're economically empowered, mm. we will have a segment of society that is making poor choices, not mm. out of, you know, that's not your first choice, but you're yeah. trying to survive. Yeah. That's true. But also poverty. If you're poverty. poor, do you I think that poverty. you're going to prioritize? You may not be educated anyway, mm. yeah. right? I know you're going to say there's UPE, there's all that, mm. but access to information may be limited. Exactly. Or for you to procure a test kit, if mm. you're not near a government facility where they're free, can you go to a pharmacy mm. if you don't have the money? Have the money. So that whole mm. economic dynamic yeah. comes to play in exposing mm. people. Mm. But also, let's talk about stigma. Mm. Stigma. Mm. How will they know or see me that I've gone for an HIV test? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh? It's better not to know and live in denial. Mm -hmm. Or when you hear people naming and shaming and ah, that mm -hmm. one, mm, the big disease, yeah. the big disease. Yeah. So we need to, know, I mean, HIV is not a death sentence. Mm. Not, anymore. Not, anymore. not anymore. You know, the silent hero, the pill is here for us. Treatment yes. It's readily available, it's free. <laughs> but also when you think about things like stigma, sometimes it's self-stigma. Yes. yes. Usually. Usually. It starts yeah. there. It yeah. starts with you. Yeah. But then there is also stigma from everyone else who will be pointing yeah. fingers. But mm. if you don't know, what do you know? Mm. There is the, you know, the risk of not knowing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we have this phrase, if you know, you know. But really, we need to, to know. know. We need to know. We need to know. Yeah. If you don't know, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah. And, and so much can happen so with much not can knowing. Happen with, with and, and, and we have to be careful because this generation that's highly at risk, yeah. if we did the things right, they can access this information. True. Yeah. But if you have to, I mean, 30 years later. Mm. And another thing that is interesting is with treatment now, we have gone from the Philly Bongele really retired days where if you're HIV, we could see you and we could tell. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you you know? know you're right now yeah. you're, you're thriving, you're voluptuous, you, you, you know. Look the best. You look you, yeah. I mean, everyone looks at you and they want yeah. to be yeah. like you. <laughs> they want to be. But they may not know because it's not, it's, you're not a so walking, yeah. Yeah. yes, it's not written. Yeah. And so with that, it, it's, it's not easy for people to say that, you know what, I need to protect myself against, say, Sheila, mm. because she's living positively. Mm. So that unawareness, you're not a walking resume of HIV, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. But also we've become complacent as a society. Yes. It's been around for 30 years. On top of that, people don't really look it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you yeah, know, what's, no what's the worst thing that can happen? I, I, don't, I, I only fear pregnancy. I don't fear yes. AIDS. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. they see pregnancy, pregnancy, but they don't see AIDS. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. True. The young girls have that. And now. the repercussions are almost instant. Huh? Yeah. 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 When she was introducing the show, she said we've made strides mm. towards <laughs> reducing the, the yeah. infection yeah. rates and prevalence. Um, but back then, there were myths about HIV AIDS. Mm. You know, it's contraction, you know, whether you survive or not, you know, how long you can survive or not. Mm. Um, are, there, are there new myths today, I guess, that the young people are interacting with? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's a really good, and I'm even thinking about it as, as you're asking. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> looking at all of There's the one I had you speaking <laughs> earlier about the saliva. Oh, yes. the saliva. You know, yeah. one thing is most people have the myth that for you to, to get HIV through kissing, but that you need to have kissed 20 liters worth of saliva yeah, yeah. to actually, that's a myth. Yeah. You know, you have to be exposed to in blood. So these whole myths, but even there are people who back in the day, I don't know if it's still there, contact. Eh? If, I, if I share a cutlery or with an infected person, eh? uh, you have your things on the side, I will, not, I will not mix and mingle with you because you cannot, you cannot. Mm. You know, that physical, just by this, unless there is a, a cut. That's why, you know, the needle syringes, we need to be careful about them. Mm -hmm. Are they well sterilized? Because that can... But I think most of the myths... You know, the new generation, I think it's because you can't see it. Yeah. How do you explain someone who did not see the Philly yeah. days yeah. Yeah. that yeah. HIV is yeah. real yeah. and it can so kill? They didn't see those they people that yeah. shrunk yeah. and they were taken back to the villages. Yeah. They didn't see 
see. You know, you bring a different dynamic because, to be honest, when I think about HIV, mm. I literally go back to the image yeah. of Philly yeah. 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 and others. Yeah. That's what I see in my mind. Yeah. So now I can imagine a generation that doesn't, never has never know. seen that. So yeah. I think we'd say this that. generation looks at AIDS, AIDS itself as it is, as a myth. It's as possible, possible, yes. Because yes. nobody dies possibly. of AIDS yeah. anymore. Oh, you yes, know what? Yes, because they're not trying people die. You know. Yes, that's why yeah, yeah, people die. Nobody it's, dies of it, AIDS it, anymore. So they might think it's a myth. It's a yeah, myth, it's yeah. a myth. Oh, it's, to it's, try and it's, keep them from having sex. Sound, which the like, truth is... It's just like any other yeah. disease. Yeah. Although that myth is worse than the myths that we used to have in our days. The fact that you think it doesn't exist. Oh, it doesn't kill. Uh -huh. yeah, that's that's because you've exactly. never buried anybody. anybody. Yeah. You've not uh, buried anyone. Yeah. But, I mean, but, really? but also, you see, you can't even blame them because most times when somebody has HIV uh, that has gone into AIDS, mm. when they when they pass away, the post mortem mm. will that's come with things like tuberculosis, yes. Yes. with no. every other that gets Yeah, yeah. AIDS doesn't really kill you. Doesn't. Yes, it. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's wow. It just compromises your immunities, and that's so. Exactly. exactly. To allow exactly. window for attack exactly. from exactly. other diseases. So, like, see here now, people, they don't know what HIV AIDS is. I'm telling the, like, the young you children. Small, small, small education. Such there. small, you know, mm. we could have, yeah, we probably just assumed that, that people know. That people let's, know. let's dial back. back. A little bit. Just a, <laughs> a little, little bit. Just take us back sure. a little bit. What is HIV? Mm. Back to basics. Back to, Back to basics. Basis. HIV 101. Uh, 101. Yes. <laughs> it is interesting because when you work in the medical field, you take it for granted. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. That everyone knows what is even HIV in food. Mm. If I asked on the states, I'm sure yeah, the bump lab, I shouldn't even go there. But I'm to answer those questions. Eh? What is HIV AIDS? Let's first bring it home. Let's bring yeah. it home. Eh? Mm. If, someone, if your kid walked to your and said, what is HIV AIDS? Mm. What would be your natural mm. response? Actually, that's such a, a good virus. question. Yes. Guess what? We could easily say acquired immunity. Yeah, that's why we know AIDS. But human, I can human, assure human, you, human, if you human. asked my, yeah. my youngest yeah. child, yeah. who's 17, she might not be able to tell you acquired, acquired, acquired immunity. immunity. It's like AIDS. It's, yeah, it's, mm. it's AIDS. Yeah. Yeah. But it's AIDS. But that, that what, big but what, what is, what is <laughs> what human immune, immune deficiency syndrome. That's AIDS. That's no, not human AIDS. immune. Now, it's HIV is virus. when the AIDS but now no. becomes full blown. Then, what is it in full? They just said it. Human immune deficiency virus, I think. Yes. yes. Human yes. Human Rachel oh. has it. Human deficiency virus. There's a yes. deficiency in like HIV. It. Yes. That sounds okay. like human And the reason is the virus. You know, the virus will attack the body and kill its natural defense mechanisms yes. yes and if the virus goes untreated that's when now it progresses to aids to the acquired the immune deficiency, deficiency syndrome uh, so you so can it, have hiv without having AIDS. aids aids is when it goes untreated it matures and now you acquire full-blown disease mm. then your body starts reacting you're weaker you know any disease can come and attack you mm. because your soldiers those soldiers of yours oh, they're not, they not fighting not, yeah, clearly. And usually you can have them. HIV and you don't have AIDS. And if it has not progressed there, yeah. they'll go and test your blood viral load zero. Mm. Right? Yeah. But it's when, when someone progresses, if yes. it goes untreated, yes. and that's why it's important to test, yes. so know your status, and then what next? Point. Yes. Hmm? Yes. 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 So you can have AIDS. Can, can the AIDS be reversed? Once you once contract you AIDS, AIDS, can you be treated and, and now go back to... Once? To zero. Yes. Yeah, just <laughs> to no HIV. HIV just. So what we call it is you can become virally suppressed. Okay. Yeah. So you'll have the HIV AIDS with a virus, right? Yes. But if you're consistently taking your treatment, yes. the, the viruses begin to reduce. Okay. So they can be virally suppressed to a level where sometimes it's even non-detectable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Because you've but taken that. Her question you. was that can you But it doesn't reverse. The AIDS. AIDS doesn't when, reverse. When you've gotten into the AIDS stage, mm. Can you reverse it? I wouldn't say, because then you are going to, people may become careless. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, guess, I, guess, I, I think I we have to be careful yeah, about yeah, saying it has gone. No. I think you, um, that, <laughs> I think what we need to say is yeah. for you, you can be virally suppressed, right? Mm -hmm. And you're at a level where even transmission may not happen. Okay. Because there's not yeah. enough, yeah. but you need to continue consistently it, it, for life. It's yeah. a lifestyle, yeah. but a cool lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle. You can live 
positively, fully. You know, where I paused a bit is that we are seated here, five ladies, mm -hmm. and if you asked us this question 20 years ago, we would give you all the definition and everything. Yeah. But clearly, we After have put AIDS yeah. on the back burner, yeah. and we are living our lives, yeah. and yet this monkey is in the it's room. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. In the meantime, <laughs> how do we test for AIDS? For HIV. For HIV. HIV. Yeah. That's correct. So how would we test for HIV? Know your status, you people. If there's anything I can emphasize, know your status. Uh, in the past, you would have to go to a health facility. Yes. The Musawo had to test you. But we, we, technology has evolved. Hmm. And we are really looking at there are multiple ways. The main thing is testing. But the modalities of testing have changed. Okay. Yes. And we have something that's new on the block called the HIV self-test kit. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes I've seen Where those. you don't need to go I've to a facility. Yes. You can do it in your bedroom. You can do it in your car. You can yeah. do it on the field. Yeah. You can do it at a concert. Yeah. And we want yeah. to normalize. Yeah. We oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you test as you're driving. Yeah, that's But before it does... Please know your status. Oh, yes, yeah. There is no reason why today in the 21st century nobody mm. knows their status. That's They've made right. it so easy, so easy to come as close as right here. Mm. Yes. And you can test the, the oral test, which is this one here. Oh, and we hope you. Yes. Yeah. There you go. And we're looking forward to a demonstration on yes. how it's done. Okay. Yeah. And there are two types there's the blood base where you draw blood, but there's also the, the one where you swab. The that's, blood. That's on for blood. That's on uh, for blood. Oh, okay. 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 So this is that oral. oral. Yeah. They are both oral. Mm -hmm. These are so oral. what do you this? I will, I will do blood. So okay. what you're holding in your hands are a different modality of an HIV test kit. Mm. Okay. The most important thing is to test. But how you test has different varieties. Yeah. You could do a self-test kit. You could go to the hospital where the nurse helps you do it. Mm. But, you know, we want to promote choice. Yeah. And make it as easy and demystify it because most people think, and I get pre king, yeah. and then I need to go in a long line yeah. and the mm. queues. Then they call your name, come here, make place. Then they first take you in a small private room for counseling. <laughs> and they say, What will you do if you are positive? <laughs> like, I will cry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, now that we have these tests here, I think it would be a good idea. How about we? We test? Yeah. We test? We test. And we, te and we also self test. test. The ease. The ease? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, that's doing also doing that. It. Okay, let me just open this. Oh my gosh, it has actually. It has a manual. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And uh, English. It has English. everything. Hey, okay. Nice. There is English. Mm, trying to get to the English. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. This is a trolley. Can yeah. I? Can we give you the English one? Yes. And we try get to make English. sure that it's available, available in different languages. Get the English one. Mm. We don't want language to be a barrier for people yes. understanding. Yes. I thought yes. it should have all oh, the languages. Yours doesn't. That's have why we everything from your kids. I thought the, <laughs> oh, I mean, there's another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Is it more than one? So the advice oh. would be remove everything yeah. from, the, from kids. the kids and put it somewhere. Then okay, so working. this is in Luganda, Rinyankore, Chiga. No, even here it says English, but yeah, well, there are two. Mm. There's yeah, one two. that. So one kid should have English. So one has English and Luganda. Mm -hmm. Then okay, the other have the different languages. Okay. Oh, super. Runyankore, super, super. Ruchiga, Choli. Okay. Up here. Yeah. There's no swag. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Instructions for use. Yes. Important to read everything. Mm -hmm. so, um, so we've removed everything, and then um, your test kit contains two pouches. Have you seen the two pouches, ladies? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. These ones. Yeah. So we have two pouches, then tear open the pouch containing the tube. So we get everything out. The tube is in the next one. Um, the tube is the bigger pouch from what I see. Mm -hmm. Get that out. So this is the tube placed there. Okay, then next, remove the cap. Remove the cap. Oh, okay. okay. 
Okay, inside there's a bit of a solution, so don't shake it up too much. And don't drink. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, do not pour out the liquid. Um, do not drink. Slide the tube into the stand. The stand is this little white one. Slide it in. There we go. So it stands ah, okay. like that. Mm -hmm. Then um, tear open the pouch containing the test device and remove. Do not touch the flat pad with your fingers. Do not eat or swallow the preservative. I think it's important for this test also to be done when you're a bit sober. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> because eh, it looks like you can't just in the bar. Okay, oh. so you hold it up like this. Mm -hmm. Right, then we are going to pass it over our top. <laughs> so like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. Yes, so if you've used this side for upper, turn and use the other side for the lower one. Okay, so step number 10, put the flat pad all the way into the tube until it touches the bottom. Please make sure you have a watch or a stopwatch so that this does not take more than 20, I mean, 20 minutes for mm -hmm. you to get the right results and not more, more than, than 40, 40 minutes. minutes. After 40 minutes, it's not reading nothing right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is a blood-based test. Are you ready, Manuela? Yes, I am. So step one, mm -hmm. bring the specimen and test components to room temperature if refrigerated or frozen. That's no, not they an were issue okay, for us. So they came room temperature. Okay, for those whom <laughs> you mix before you use it. Step two, when you're ready to test, you're ready? Yes, I am. Okay, open the pouch at the notch and remove the device. Which I've done. Place the test device on a clean, flat surface. Be sure to label the device with the specimen's ID number. Hey, I'm the only specimen. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you could be I'm the specimen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step four, dispense one drop of the specimen into the sample well. Uh, just um, uh, twist it a bit so that it breaks off. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Send it in nice and deep. Once, poop. Press, press. Blood count. There has it, this blood. Just hold on. Yes, okay. it has come. There we go. Okay. So that goes onto the, spec the, onto the well, the sample well. Do I use this? Yes. Mm -hmm. To pick the blood? Yes. Squeeze and... Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, Good nice. girl. There we oh, go. Nice. There right we there. go. Super. Then now you're going to pick two drops of the sample uh, liquid. This one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Two drops. One. Good girl. Good girl. Super. And we wait. Okay, so you're going to, you set your timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, check your results. 20 minutes, chuck the, the, the test into the bin. Okay. This reminds me of pregnancy tests. I know. Yeah. I was a show we but they are going to wait for 20 minutes yes. 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 for the correct <laughs> correct one okay now that we're done with the test remember blood 15 minutes oral 20 minutes this is how you interpret your results so there are two complete lines even if the line is faint means you may be HIV positive, positive. right um, and you need to seek additional testing by a trained professional to confirm a HIV diagnosis. Meaning, if you're negative, you should have one line. One, yeah? Okay. Negative one line, positive two lines. What happens if you find out that you are negative? What, what should be my next step, in, at least to maintain the negative result? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Rachel. Uh, if you get an HIV negative test, the, the most important thing is what are you going to do to keep your status negative. Yeah. But just as a precaution, sometimes you may take the test during your window period eh. when the virus is not fully matured. Oh, no. So we recommend that after three months, you retake the test 
to confirm for sure, for sure. But as you're waiting for that confirmatory to make sure that the window period has passed, you're really HIV negative, there are some things that you can do to make sure that you remain negative. We're going to look at the behavior, but also the biomedical. Okay. Science came to help us, mm. you know, yeah. and make things more doable. Yeah. But in terms of the behavior, the first one would be, of course, abstinence. Mm. But uh, that one is... How ah, practical it's it's possible. Possible. Ah, it's possible. I mean, possible. for some people would say if you can, yeah. from mm. high risk, we're abstinence. <laughs> abstinence. So <laughs> 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 can you abstain? It can never be <laughs> me. <laughs> it can never be me. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. so, if abstinence, you know, for a certain age group, for a certain demographic, they may say abstinence. Mm -hmm. But really, let's be real. Yeah. Is it practical yeah. Yeah, that practical. you can really abstain? Yeah. If you cannot abstain and you're in a relationship, relationship yeah. be faithful with your partner. Yeah. Yeah. Really, some people used to call it back in the day zero grazing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, be faithful. Mm -hmm. But in the event that even that is difficult, yeah. let us use the condoms correctly and consistently. Mm -hmm. Correct is key. Those C's, those double C's are yeah. important. Yeah. Don't just say, I will use a condom, but how? Mm. And then you choose, maybe on even days, yes, on all day, no. Consistently. Or on, on the third round, <laughs> you can... Consistently. <laughs> yes. And then, for those of you who your partners like to tell you that, ah, me, I don't use condoms, they give me about what, what. Mm. They are latex-free condoms. Mm. It is usually the latex in condoms that causes those some reactions, reactions. Yes. in mm. people. But they are much, a little bit more expensive. But I mean, if you're going to be sensitive, make money yeah, to overcome know. those health sure. problems. That's yeah. true. That's so what there I are latex-free condoms that you can use. Don't let people confuse you and say, yeah. I don't use condoms. Cond Condoms. Mm. Everyone can use condoms. True, and the options of not the option of not using the condom, the pain is way way worse, worse if indeed than a bit of itching or whatever. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm also going to share some of the biomedical interventions that are available. You've heard about voluntary medical male circumcision. Doctors oh, yes. make it fancy with voluntary, but it's really circumcision. Yes. Okay. But the medical one, which is safe, is done by a musawo. It's yes. safe. This one protects the men. Mm. from contracting HIV. It has a 60% protection really? for the men. So really encourage your, 60 your friends, wow. your brothers, your partners, your colleagues, That's nice. wow. your sons, but let us yet get circumcised. Uh, let you can still spread. That's so why while he might not contract, yes. if he has and he's, yeah. and he's circumcised, he still can transmit. If he's not yeah. having protected sex. Yes. 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 So this one protects the men, about 60%. Mm. But we also have medication. Mm. The first one I'll talk about is the pre-exposure prophylaxis. Mm. Pre, pre, before you have a high-risk sexual behavior, mm. so you're a commercial sex worker, or you're a fisher folk who spends a lot of time on the island, mm. you, you, you know, or you're going off on a trip, road trip, mm. Kaboneza, yes. you may not... <laughs> You, 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 you are going with strangers <laughs> on a solo group trip. trip. So group hey. Hey. And you know that for this period, I'm, there is a very high possibility that I'm going to be exposed to high-risk sex. True. Yeah. We have the oral prep, mm. which is a pill that you take daily for that period. And you know that it changes. If you know you're going to be at high-risk sex, at least take for a month daily in that period to protect yourself. But also on the market, not really widely in Uganda, there is also the, vagin the vaginal ring. Mm. Uh -huh. that you can insert inside mm -hmm. and this one you just insert it once a month mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you don't need to change it mm -hmm. oh. but that one it is not prevents. readily available on the Ugandan market oh. some pharmacies may have it mm. you know but it's set, it's approved by WHO mm. so you have the prep pill yeah. You have the vaginal ring. Yeah. This is now for the women. We've not forgotten the women. Hold on, you yeah. insert the ring into your... Yeah, yes. yes, like, like the way you do the tampon. menstrual cup, the, cup, the yeah. tampon. Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. that's another option. But, it's but a we ring. also and have... it stays inside there for, for a, month. a month. For a month. Yes, then okay. you remove it. So you don't have to have the pill burden. Mm. Then wow. there's the option of cab L. Cab L is the injection. Mm. Oh. You get it once every two months. Mm. So they're trying to work on ways to make this easy. You know, many people complain the pill every day mm. is a pill burden. So we are trying to make choice. You know, like though we have contraceptive mixed choice. Yes. Even for this HIV that is with us, how can we make it easy? Because if you can't take the pill daily, mm. how do we make sure at least you have the vaginal ring? Mm. And if you can't do the vaginal ring, really at an injection twice a month. But that's for before 
for those who know you are at risk, I don't know what's going to happen. Yes. Let me protect myself pre-exposure. But we also have the PEP, post-exposure prophylaxis. Yeah. So if you have a high-risk behavior, you realize, hi, I don't know his personal status, the way things went down, there was a lot of, you know, things made, fluids may have exchanged, or you know that maybe the person is living positive and you were not protected. Mm. Within 72 hours, mm. you take the PEP. It's also a, a, a pill. Mm. But you have to take this for a month to protect you. Oh, okay, now let me ask, because this injection now. So you take the, like now we are going on our trip, so you take the injection, and you can... Yes. A month before. A month before. So the pills, when you know you're going to have high risk behavior, and you know it's coming, you protect yourself before. Now, for the pill you can take daily, right? But stay on it for a month. Don't start, go in high risk, and, uh, and then you think you're and say, ah, ah. So we want you to understand that the best thing is to practice safe sex. Safe, safe. But in the event that there are options, right? Yeah. The men we've talked about the circumcision. But we're saying that the, the, the PrEP mm. is available for everyone. The pre-exposure, okay. but also the post. Yeah. Okay. So you're on drugs. You're taking drugs to protect you before a high-risk sexual encounter. Mm. Okay, now I'm thinking like an 18-year-old who has access to this injection... How often is too often? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. Mm. You get me? Yeah. Like, how often do you perceive yourself at risk? Mm. Yeah, yeah, for example, December is coming. Yeah. So I take my shot at the beginning of November, mid-November. So it means that I'm good, good for December. Mm. Yes. And if the party continues into January and February... Yeah, for how long is that... Pre oh, for how long does it protect you? you? How long is that protection? The two shots protect you for the, how long? The month. The month, the month yes. that you're taking them in. Yes. Yeah, the so one, once you have to understand is that they, the, the efficiency, there's also efficiency. Oh, yes. If you don't okay. take consistently, then it, you may not have the efficacy. efficacy. I'm trying to, to, yeah. to get yes. the right yeah, word, the right common word. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want people to think that, oh, if I just pop the pill today, tomorrow, yeah, I forget good. about it the next day. You have to, it's no, not no, a no, magic no. bullet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to be consistent. But also, it's one of the, the difference with these, these prevention <laughs> medicines is that you don't have to be on it for life. Yeah. You, as long as you don't perceive yourself to be at risk or you're not going to encounter risky, yes, then you don't need don't to take it. Oh, yeah. So, doctor, I like what you've said about being negative. That's easier. Yeah, you know you're negative. You'll do all these things to stay mm. negative. Mm. Now, everyone dreads when they test and find out they are positive. Mm -hmm. What do you do to stay healthy when you find out you're positive? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And I really want our audience today to know what we already know, that HIV is not a death sentence. Yeah. That if you test HIV positive, mm -hmm. the world is not going to come crashing. Mm -hmm. We have uh, ARVs, the drugs. Yes. And you can live a healthy life as a positive. Yes. We have so many young positives, old positives, middle age, mm -hmm. that are testimonies. You can thrive as an HIV positive person True. as long as you go to the health center, mm -hmm. Start treatment. Yes. And consistently. The, you, you know, take your drugs consistently. Mm. So the most important thing to live a positive life is one, get onto medication. Yes. And then, you know, live a healthy life. A full life. You can live a full life as an HIV positive That's person. True. We have so many ambassadors that I look to and I'm like, I want to grow up and be like you. Mm. HIV does yes. not hold people back anymore. Mm. Go for treatment. Know your status. And if you're negative, do the many things we've talked about. But mm. if you're positive, please get onto HRV. And, and the drugs are free. Mm. In Uganda, the government, the donors have made it possible that if you go to any public health center, mm. you'll be enrolled onto free treatment mm. for life. Mm. Okay. Mm. For life. For life. Yeah. That's and I remember, I don't know if you'd like to talk about the ease now, because mm. those days it would be like a group of pills that people are taking. Mm. Um, and sometimes... It's so cumbersome. Do you want mm. to speak mm. into that? And you know, the good thing with medicine is that it's constantly evolving. Mm. Yes. You know, very soon, who knows, we may have that one a month or an mm. injection. But the mm. pill is just once a day. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And it's now one It's pill. one single pill. There's mm. All the combinations are collapsed into one. Mm. Yeah. And, and of course, they, there may be some, people, some side effects, but it's just like any medicine, right? Yeah. yeah. And you, they can be treated. Yeah. Yeah. But the most important thing is find a health facility. It's free. Yeah. It will not impact your well-being. Like we will really encourage positive health living. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. possible. 
you can thrive as an HIV positive True. person. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You have to care it. Okay. Oh, mine's done. Your 20 minutes? Yeah, my 20 minutes done. <laughs> <laughs> Just on time. Yeah. Tell me I have no fear. The people who are in my uh, network. <laughs> By the way, never ever let anybody force you to show your results. Your results. I'm yeah. just yes. doing this because it's my honors. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. yeah so as as Angie said, single line it means you're means negative. You're negative. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to do everything within my power to, to remain negative. negative. Not to go in high risk environment. Yeah, and behavior. Not to go in high risk. <laughs> and even if I do, I'll take prep. But yeah, use protection and I'll be faithful to one partner. Come on now. Yeah, because I'm not going to abstain for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that one is okay, please. Remain, remain. But you're not a young girl, God. Mine <laughs> isn't showing anything. <laughs> No results. No results. <laughs> no, no negative, no serious? positive, no invalid. Just oh, it's wow. just like that. Why, ah. why, why, why do that you test that? has something against me. <laughs> Angie, no. that's a very good question. I yeah. know the test does not have anything against you as an individual. Yes. It can happen to any of us. Okay. I think when we read the instructions, we said you have to follow through. Yeah. Step one to I think it's step seven correctly. Yeah. So if you miss one of the steps, and it could be the way you tore the packet, or when you're opening the solution, it poured, and so you didn't have solution, or you touched before you're supposed no, to touch. I followed all the steps, but in the process, remember I was reading the pamphlet and I was holding. I saw your paper. Was wet. So you may not have had solution to Enough do that. Enough solution. To, yes, to do so that. you have to follow the instructions diligently yeah. to get a, 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 a result reading. Oh. So no, it's not that the test is wrong or it's not that it has anything against you. Mm. It's just that something, either the way you tore the package or the way you swab. You know, they even said when you're swabbing, yeah. swab one side, then swab with the other side. Yeah. So we have to follow the instructions the collect, the correctly to get the result. No, I was, I was so seamless. I did that, then I turned it. Remember, back oh, I'm an artist. So I, so my thing is that when we popped the solution, I saw it come out, but I was like, it must be I mean, enough. When you think about it, without a solution, what are you testing? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Remember, yeah. yeah. So like we have to be careful. I shall, re <laughs> I shall redo. <laughs> Yeah, I shall redo. No, thank you so, thank you so, so, so much. so much. This has been so educative. I feel like I have been schooled again, yeah. you know, taken back into the past <laughs> and then brought forward yeah. to know what's going on with HIV and AIDS. We really, really appreciate you. And for those of you who are watching us, HIV AIDS is real. Yes. It's still there. And the only responsibility you have is just one. Mm. Go get yourself tested and now testing has been brought in the comfort of your home yeah. you can do it on your own either through an oral test or even through a blood test and these tests are available in all government hospitals absolutely free of charge we have no reason right now to get hiv aids but if you need to speak to a doctor reach out to dr easy on whatsapp and or you could call or even text on the numbers on your screen below. We're following the hashtag. You know, now the young ones all, are all about <laughs> hashtags. <laughs> if you don't remember it, at least remember Banner Boy has just come up with a new <laughs> jam titled Tried, Tested, and Approved. Don't, 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 don't. Come on! <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs>